What's up, Savvy Expats? Every country has a set of fundamental must-know rules that everybody and their mother knows. In America, we walk and drive on the right side of the road. In Italy, they greet each other with a kiss on the cheek. In Japan, it's disrespectful to rub chopsticks together, I think. And so, it's what makes every country unique, right? But what are the must-knows of living in the Philippines? So in this video, we cover five things you must know about living in the Philippines, which I promise will give you a much smoother transition to adjusting to life here in the Philippines. So at number one on our list, that is to always have cash on hand. As you know, the US has developed into a cashless society where you can pay with Venmo, PayPal, or credit or debit card. There is just no longer such a huge need to carry around cash as most establishments accept digital payment methods. But this is not the case with the Philippines. Though the country is shifting in the direction of adopting digital payments like Gcash, we still lack behind in using those methods. Because truth be told, a large amount of restaurants, stores, and establishments still only accept cash here in the Philippines. Now, of course, this also depends on where you are. If you're staying in a highly urbanized city like BGC or Makati, you'll find that card and digital payments are widely accepted. Whether it be purchasing a cup of coffee at the local coffee shop or paying for a price meal at a restaurant, most other forms of payment are accepted. But when it comes to paying in the provinces, be prepared to pay with cash in most places that you go. As expected, living in the provinces of the Philippines are less up to date and modernized. So of course, most places expect that you pay with cash since they don't accept any other form of payment. And not only is it ideal for you to carry around cash when going to restaurants and stores, but even when going about with transportation. If you're taking public transport in the Philippines, it's a necessity to have cash on hand because most taxis, tricycles, motorcycles, and jeepneys do not accept any other form of payment. Grab, on the other hand, does accept card payment by simply loading your money onto the app. But all in all, the Philippines is behind on being a cashless society, so be sure to carry cash in most places that you go to. Now, for the second thing you must be prepared for in the Philippines, that is a lack of punctuality. Unfortunately, being on time in the Philippines versus being on time in any other country takes on a whole different meaning. In the US, for example, if you set an appointment at 2 p.m., you can expect that they'll be there by 2 p.m. Here in the Philippines, however, if you set an appointment at 2 p.m., most people will be there by 3 p.m. That's what we like to call Filipino timing, or in other words, just being late. Of course, this doesn't apply to all Filipinos, but being late happens a lot more often than you'd think here. I remember in Chicago, if someone was late by 15 minutes, that's actually late late by quite a lot. But here in the Philippines, I've gotten so used to people being late by 30, 40 minutes, or even dare I say, an hour late. On the bright side, however, the reason that this does happen is because of how chill and laid back the people are here. In the US, we're very uptight, but we of course respect each other's time. But here in the Philippines, there's more of a mindset of try to get here during this time. If you don't, then it's understandable. And so since we live on a tropical island, it's almost as if that laid back mindset translates into all areas of life here. At the end of the day, while it is frustrating, it's just ingrained in the culture and all you can do is just set your meetings earlier. Moving on to the third must know of living in the Philippines, that is you'll get by with English. The Philippines has two official languages, Tagalog and English. Because English is the second spoken language of the country, you'll find that most locals know how to speak English. As a matter of fact, the Philippines is a country with the fourth most English speakers in the entire world. So if you're worried that you'll have a hard time going about your business here due to language barrier, rest assured you'll be able to communicate with most people here. From the government and media to even taxi drivers and waiters, English is widely used. And at the least, if it isn't spoken, it's understood by most people here. Moving on to the fourth must know of living in the Philippines, which is a big one, that is the respect for elders. In all ways, shapes, and forms that we interact with elders here, it's all about respect. You see, senior citizens in the Philippines are treated with a greater level of respect here than most other countries. Even in the way we address them, Dita, Tito, Lola, Lolo, it's all about honoring them. You may even find that if you address an older person by their first name, they find it disrespectful. In addition to that, even when it comes to saying the word yes, you're expected to say opo. The word po denotes a sign of respect, so if you say o-o, which means yes as well, instead of 
opo, then it can be seen as disrespectful. Lastly, when greeting elders, you should do what we call mano. Mano is basically where you take the hand of the elder and you put it against your forehead as a sign of respect. So as you can see, there's a lot of etiquette involved in showing respect to the older people here. Now for the fifth and last must know of living in the Philippines, which really is more of a culture shock than it is a must know, that is you don't have to tip as much here. In the US, tipping is paramount. It's very expected by the waiters and if you don't tip, you may get an earful. The general rule of thumb in the US is to tip 20% of the bill. Meanwhile, here in the Philippines, most people do not tip here, so it's especially seen as an act of gratitude. In this culture, tipping is not expected whatsoever in most places. However, even for those that do tip, it's much lower than in the States. While the rule of thumb for tipping in the US is around 20%, here in the Philippines, it's more like 10%. So tipping 50 to 100 pesos or one to two dollars is considered acceptable in most average establishments establishments here. This was definitely a culture shock when I first came here to the Philippines. Again, it's not really a must-know thing, but I figured I should let you guys in on this. And so there you have it, Savvy Expats. That is the five must-knows of living in the Philippines. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see a part two of the must-knows of living in the Philippines, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. <music>